Today on board Agape, we're going to be installing a new Xantrex Freedom XC2000 inverter charger. So we chose to upgrade from a standalone inverter charger to this combo 2000 watt inverter and 80 amp charger. Today we're going to try and show how easy it is for someone with even the most basic electrical knowledge to install or upgrade an existing system. So this is the nav station on board Agape. This is where all the electronics on the boat get routed here. So this box under the seat is where all the inverter and charger components will live. We'll be removing a Xantrex 2 charge 2 40 amp standalone charger and upgrading to the inverter charger combo. So before you start any electrical project, you always want to make sure that you kill all the power in the boat. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and turn off the charger as well as any of the components. Turn off the master. We're also going to turn off all the DC power on the boat. Even though we turned off all the breakers aboard Agape, we're still plugged into shore power, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect the shore power cord just to make sure that there's no current on any of those wires. Anytime you're installing new electronics, it's a good idea to read the instruction and installation manual. I read it once all the way through, gather the required tools and supplies, and then follow along step by step during the install. Before we cut any wires to remove the charger, we want to go ahead and double check that all the power really is turned off. We're going to go ahead and use a multimeter, find your live and your neutral, make sure that the multimeter still reads zero. So this is a dead circuit and we're good to cut it. Every install will be slightly different, but between the detailed manual and Xantrek's amazing support and engineering staff, it's a fairly easy do-it-yourself project, especially if upgrading an existing system. Now we want to go ahead and dry fit the unit where we think it's going to go. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure that all of our cables are the right lengths. This is the ground for the unit and that'll fit no problem. So both of these will fit with plenty of room to spare. So we're going to mark some holes. Now we can go ahead and drill these four mounting holes. Once the unit's mounting location has been chosen and dry fitted, it's time to begin connecting the wiring. The manual gives easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions as well as picture diagrams to aid in this part of the install. This is going to be coming through the shore power and into the inverter through the knockout and it says AC in and our labels are wired in. So now we've connected the AC in and the AC out. This is from the shore power to the inverter and from the inverter back to the rest of the boat. Now we need to connect the inverter to the batteries and we're going to use that again with three aught battery cables. We have our positive and our negative. These come directly from the batteries directly to the terminals. Before attaching the cover plate and moving on, now is a good time to double check all your wiring is correct. The next part of the install is attaching the Xantrex remote panel. It's a simple installation with an RJ12 cable plugged directly from the inverter to the back of the panel. Next, it's time to test your install. Turn on the DC power to the boat, and then you can turn on the inverter. Follow along with the instructions step by step on how to use the panel, fully customize the inverter, test the rest of the install, and explore the many functions of your new Freedom XC inverter charger. Since installing the inverter a couple weeks ago, we have enjoyed being able to use all the appliances and electronics we want without having to turn on the generator. We look forward to years of trouble-free use, the same we have enjoyed with many other Xantrex products.